In this video, I thought we'd have a look at a exam question from June 2012's A2 Biology Unit 4 paper. And this is a respiration question involving a manometer. Now, before we even start with this question, the first thing we should do is understand what the experiment is trying to do. So it says, a student investigated the rate of gas exchange in aerobically respiring seeds using the apparatus shown in the diagram. She carried out two experiments. In experiment one, she put potassium hydroxide solution into the beaker, and it tells you that potassium hydroxide solution absorbs carbon dioxide. In experiment two, she put water into the beaker. So the first thing we need to do, we need to underline or highlight some key words. First thing, gas exchange, because that's the process that's being measured, the rate of gas exchange. Aerobic, aerobically respiring, that's quite important. Seeds might come in handy later if we're talking about plants. Uh, let's have a look. In experiment one, we should highlight that. She put some potassium hydroxide solution, so there's potassium hydroxide in there. And we should also put in what the potassium hydroxide does. It absorbs carbon dioxide. In experiment two, there was only water, so no potassium hydroxide there. There we go. So here's our apparatus. Uh, we've got some seeds in a flask. We probably should make an assumption that this bung here is making things airtight. So let's write that on. Airtight. Cool. We've got seeds and we've got the, the little beaker inside. Then we've got some coloured liquid in a U-tube and a scale marked in centimetres cubes. So we're measuring the volume that something moves. Let's have a look at the question. The first one. Both experiments were carried out at the same temperature. Explain why. So when we see temperature, we should immediately be thinking kinetic energy. So what's affected by kinetic energy and temperature? Well, enzymes, surely. And what are we measuring? Well, we're measuring respiration rate or gas exchange, which is needed for respiration. So surely the answer must be something to do with enzymes and respiration. So the answer that I'm going for is going to be temperature... Temperature affects enzymes which are required for respiration, which are, oops, my writing's not too great on this, are required for respiration. I'm going to put aerobic respiration because they mention it in the question, just to be sure. There we go. That will do. Very nice. Temperature affects enzymes which are required for respiration. Two things I've put there, so worth two marks, I think. Let's move on. The level of coloured liquid in the right-hand side of the manometer tube went down during experiment one. Explain why. So, it went down. Right-hand side experiment one key information so let's have a look back at the diagram so there's the right hand side so this level went down okay well that kind of makes sense the liquids moving around because it must have something to do with experiment one which has potassium hydroxide in so that's absorbing carbon dioxide so co2 is being produced by these guys as they respire and then it's being absorbed by the potassium hydroxide. Okay, well let's try and fashion an answer together. Let's have a look. So, let's say that O2 is used by the seeds in aerobic respiration. Um, and then that process of aerobic respiration is going to be produce CO2. It's going to be producing CO2. And that's going to be absorbed by the potassium hydroxide. By the KOH. So that's probably worth two marks. The one thing that everyone forgets to mention is why the level of the coloured liquid goes down, and it's to do with pressure. So if CO2 has been absorbed by the potassium hydroxide, the air pressure within 
that little, uh, this little beaker over here, this conical flask, the air pressure in here is going to go down. So that's going to cause the water to move around. So pressure in flask decreases. So the pressure decreases, the the atmospheric air that's in here, or whatever happens to be in here, is going to move round, and this liquid is going to move up. That means this side is going to move down. So it's all to do with pressure. Cool. I think there's three marks there. So oxygen is used by seeds. You could justify it by saying in aerobic resp, just to be sure. CO2 produced, absorbed by the potassium hydroxide, pressure in flask decreases. Three marks, nice and straightforward. The results from both experiments are shown in the table. So experiment one had the potassium hydroxide, experiment two just had water. There was a larger fall here in the first experiment compared to the second experiment. Nice and straightforward. So what is it going to ask us to do? Use these results to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced during experiment one. Well, surely that's just the difference because water is a control and it allows us to compare. So all we're going to have to do is do 5 centimetres cubed minus 1 centimetre cubed. Sorry, I'm showing my working just to be safe in case I go wrong. And that equals 4 centimetres cubed. Not sure why I've put that there. There we go. So 4 centimetres cubed is our answer. And we don't even need to give the units because the examiner has very kindly written them for us. Nice. Last question. The student repeated experiment once. This is with KOH. I better write that down. Using seeds which were respiring anaerobically this time. So anaerobically. There's our clue. What would happen to the level of the coloured liquid in the right-hand side of the manometer tube? Well, surely, if it's respiring anaerobically, we don't need any oxygen. So that means that there's going to be no pressure change, doesn't it? So there's going to be no change in the level of the liquid. So no change because oxygen is not required in anaerobic respiration. And that is worth two marks. So this is a question that upon first inspection seems quite horrible. Horrible piece of apparatus that you more than likely haven't seen before. But once you start to pick it apart, and if you pick out the key pieces of information from the text and understand what the diagram is trying to show, it's a 